You, you ready for this? Does that answer your fucking question? I guess that means we're ready to, uh, to go. Welcome back, everybody, to Nathan ruin being trigger fun. happy. <laughs> All I ever do is ruin your fun. It's true. That's why I'm the producer and you are the designer slash content creator. Because I'm the one that does the real work? Yeah. <laughs> we all know managers don't do shit. No, they don't. They just <laughs> yell at people, blah, 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 blah. What's going on? I only do all the editing for oh, this okay. show in Arcane Duels and help make new shows and do art on game development. I'm sorry, were you talking? I could like, whoa. Oh, God. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, you did not warn me about this. I forgot. Do I just that we just, just jump straight into it? Just go. Um, well, okay. I feel like so we're not going anywhere. We still have normal bounds, so we can hit the edge of the map and and get forced away. Um, ah. I don't know what's better if you man the shields or if you man the gun. I think it's better if you man the shields or if I man the shields and you man a gun, um, because running away doesn't do a lot. Oh. Um, but we do have asteroids to worry about. So and we can just stay still and I can just... Ah, motherfuck. God. <laughs> ah. Oh. Ha-ha. Oh. Boink. 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 Oh, wait. I can use this thing. <gasps> Bam. Damn. So we only hurt him if we hit him in the face. Well... That would be great if we would stop getting hit ourselves. Yeah. I think... I th well, actually, now you're doing good on the shield. Well, it's because he's throwing things. He's just been hitting us with his claws over and over again. Like, oh, right there, fair. I can't actually do anything about that. I, getting hit from literally opposite angles. God, why it's... would they make this game so hard? <laughs> why was this so hard? It is... This will be over in three minutes, he says. Oh. I said that this boss battle would take us no more than five minutes. And I still hold to that, that that's probably true. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. only been like one minute. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe it's been three minutes. Mm -hmm. It's been two minutes. Mm -hmm. Are you, are you going to? Oh, wait, I guess we should get those hearts. So I don't know if you noticed, but the boss is a um, constellation that has been tainted by the, uh, what's it called? Like the, the anti-love generator? Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh, I noticed. <laughs> the Great Bear. Yeah, little but boy. now, look how cute he is. So this is such a little thing, but it's really, really nice. Now that we've seen that, that cutscene, every time we... Like when we first went to this level, we don't have to watch it again. So we just jump straight back into the battle. So they expect players to die, and they accommodated the design for that, which I like a lot. That Good design. Nice. Good design. Some of the Kickstarter, one of the Kickstarter games I played recently to test out to see if it was worth uh, recording, it okay. uh, did uh, the opposite on, of that. Get on it. Get get us out of here. So, sorry, no, I was I was actually really focusing last match just to figure out what was going on. And basically, once he starts shooting the, his claws out at you, you have to move. Because what he does is he tries to capture you in, see, right there? Uh, when he's shooting shit, you gotta move. Shit! Oh, dang, oh, dang, oh, whoa! Oh, that was almost an amazing dodge. Almost. That's like pretty much a story of my life. Nathan Kilborn. <laughs> the story of almost. Oh, it's sad when you put it like that. <laughs> uh, then don't let me die here. Oh, God, man, he really that goes was after that was you. good. That he was really goes after you. Yeah. Well, that's why I was like, I don't know if being on the thrusters really does much. If anything, it just prevents you from. Oops. Ah. It just prevents you from. Um, Hitting an asteroid. Come on, just bounce it away. Thank you. Oh, this is not going well. Not going well. Not going well. Yep. Where is he? Oh, he's up. He's on the mini map. Woo. I think. I think we. I think we got it. I think. <laughs> I 
There may be no hearts in this level, but I think... Oh, he teleports. That's Oh, right. what the hell is that? Ah. Stop using that gun. It's worthless. Oh, boy. So, what do you think about this boss? Well, it's interesting. Uh, I think the limitations of him staying next to you are a little janky, and by that I mean the fact that he either teleports or dives after you like that makes it really hard to deal with him. Oh. Uh, I think, though, this, this boss does really, like... A good thing it does is it really plays off of the the core challenge of the game, and that's operating multiple things um, with only two players or two entities, I guess. Yeah, that's fair. Um, which I mean, that's like the main pull of the game, right? Um, so I think it's successful in that regard. But I suppose the counter argument would be maybe they took it too far. Hmm. Like maybe it's relying on us operating too many things at once. And this is only the first boss, right? So like this is about as easy as it gets. I I think I've We're encountered the boss. We're going to get rid of this metal saw by the way. This has got to go. Yeah, okay. Actually, I think a beam gem might be better. We don't have one. Oh, we do have one. Uh. Beep. Cool. Yes. Yes. It has such amazing reach. I don't know what the benefit of using another power gem is. I think it just is more rapid fire. Uh, it's faster. It's much faster. It is faster. Oh yeah. But it's not fast like the the metal gem saw blade is. Uh, wait, metal gem. What? The spinny saw blade. That thing's super quick. Yeah, yeah, that's super quick, but it's really close up. It does more damage, but the other thing is farther and does less damage, so there's less risk involved. Oh, mother... Really? Already? Ah! So they do at least give you an indication of what claw he's going to use when he strikes you. It yeah, looks like the glowing. Yeah, exactly. Um, which, that's kind of nice, at least for boss battle uh, designs. Um, I think that's kind of an, an essential thing. See, it's that, like, right there. He attacked us from two different angles. I, I didn't know what to do there. Yeah, he has a very far reach for, uh... For what it is. For that attack. For some reason, I was gonna say for a space bear, but then I realized that didn't make any sense. <laughs> I like it. I really like this laser flail during this boss battle, though, because you can stick the flail over his head and hit him with three lasers, um, which is a little OP if we can manage it, but we only have one, and he seems to not like to be on our left side, so it's a little hard to use. Oh, you want him on the left side? Oh, I'll put him on the left side. Oh, my fucking those asteroids are. <laughs> you know those big glowy, red glowy things? The asteroids? Yeah. Oh, oh dang. come on! Uh, Where the hell am I? <laughs> well, I, if I we die, up, <laughs> we know why. <laughs> I ended up at the cockpit, and I was like, "Wait, this is not this is not where I want to be right now." Yeah, boy. I wish we could destroy his hands. I think that's really what I I want out of this boss battle. I feel like oh, it's not ready yet. Oh shit. I feel like we're a little limited on spots we can target on this guy. I feel it, it would be, this boss battle would be a little more interesting if we could like, almost Zelda boss battle style, right? Like, where you can destroy parts of it and it'll regenerate over time, but like, you yeah, have that the advantage be, for a little bit. I'd, I'd be fine with that one. I mean, that's, that's almost like, I guess, Final Fantasy style even. It's, it's pretty common in a lot of games, is pretty much what I'm trying to say, I guess, in poor words. Bam! Generating, uh, I don't, I like, like, little mini-bosses within the boss. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna use this to our advantage. Um, you think that that will work, but it doesn't push him back. No, it's okay. Boom. We'll use it to our advantage. I guess that's sort of true. I'm gonna jump on that shield real quick. There we go. I like that shield there. 
God, he moves so fast. I'm boosting as fast as oh. I can. That asteroid was terrifying. Oh, no, 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 no. Bitch, you don't know me. <gasps> Come on. Come on. I got a good feeling about this one. So I don't know if you noticed, but we basically found our complete roles on this ship. That I'm the gun person and you're the pilot? Basically. And we're both shield operators at random times? Oh, that's bad. Okay, good. Yes, I mean, whenever... Oh, son of a bitch. Shit, shit, shit. Damn it, I didn't realize those were still there. Don't you dare. <laughs> I was watching that asteroid and I was like, no. <laughs> oh, we got this. Yeah, we totally got it. Cat's in the bag. That's that's what the people say, right? Oh, no. Maybe we don't get this. Oh, no. Uh, oh, we were so close. So close. Stupid Ursa Major. <laughs> Stupid constellation. So while we're still trying to, to kill this guy, and since we aren't going to be playing the other campaigns, at least right now, I do want to talk a little bit about what some of the content in the other uh, um, systems are like. Um, so the next system that we'll go to, or that we could go to after we beat this, is sort of like a, a water-based system. There's a lot of like water planets where we can actually just take the ship and move through the water. Um, it's really, really cool actually. It's It has a lot of water physics going on. So like you kind of like move farther than you would by with a boost, but it's harder to actually. It's, yeah, exactly. Slower acceleration and slower deceleration, but you also can use the water to your advantage. You can actually use it to shield you. If a bullet, if like a missile is shot from outside the water, it cannot. It will explode when it touches the water. Um, but you can shoot from inside the water to the outside, and it will it will work. Um, it's really really cool. It's. I think it, it's probably one of my favorite systems right now. The third system I'm not as much of a fan with, but I haven't played a ton of it. Have you finished? Oh, I was going to say, did you finish, that, finish it yet? No. Um, but the third system, it has like a wind and snow kind of thing going on. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, which, you know, in space doesn't make a ton of sense, but, you know, whatever, games. We're using the power of love to move around, dude. I mean... It, it, uh, yeah, exactly. Like... At the end of the day, it's not oh, that huge a of a continuity of a thing. Oh, it's so close. Um, but one thing I really, really do have to say that's awesome about this game is that they do a great job at keeping things interesting. Um, just the sheer amount of like different obstacles they introduce in every single uh, new system, I think it's actually really well done. It keeps things fresh. Is, is pretty much what I'm going for. I know I said that in an earlier episode when we were talking about this system specifically, um, but they keep it up throughout the rest of the game, which I'm really impressed by. It's a, it's a tough design challenge to make that happen. Yes, no, absolutely, because a game like this could get very monotonous very quickly. Ah, oh, you, who, who's, ah, oh, you, ah, oh, you suck. You suck so much. You suck. You suck. I can't move. Ah, we're, we're just going to die here. That was the worst thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. Yeah, that was pretty bad. That was terrible. He just trapped us right in between asteroids, and he just clawed his way into our little hearts. Yeah, and my timing on that laser was not not good. <laughs> not not good. Therefore, it was good. He's going to teleport us, isn't he? Uh, no, no he's just going to die. Dash. See, like this battle, I feel we would do really good if we had the, uh, like the metal and the, I think it's the, the power gem upgrade. Oh, up oh, there we go. And the thrusters, because what that does is we basically have the speed increase from the power gem and the thrusters, but we also drop mines or caltrops. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's super cool. It's not very useful in most circumstances, but I feel like in, um, there are very select enemies where it becomes almost essential for, which I do like. Beam jam. All right, we got this. We, yeah. We got this. I'm, I'm 
done messing around. No more playing games, Nathan. We're in this for the the win. The the, the gold. The gold. Is that what people say? I, I don't know what's going on. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Complete offense. Don't worry about shields. Just yeah. Guns you want to do all it? The way. I don't know. Not really, but I'm probably going to. I mean, the the problem with going all offense is like sometimes you just literally can't hit them. So yeah, like like that. Like, what am I even doing down there? Oh, take it. Nice. Oh, damn. Come on, lasers. Pow! Pow! Ah, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I can't get up the ladder. Get up the ladder, you failure. <laughs> that's, I think that's like the thing that kills me the most in this game is I'll get stuck on the ladder where I'm just like trying to get up, but he's doing the little bounce thing. And I'm like, no, just... Go to the left. Just go to the left. Why is this so hard to figure out? You know what I want to do. Why aren't you doing it? Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're doing good. We're fine. We're actually comparable in damage so far. Yeah, actually, I think we're a little bit ahead of him. A little bit. Not a lot. Just enough to count. Pow, 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 Get up. What are you, what are you even jumping on? Perfect. Oh, you got it. I was doing it too. Oh, come on. It's okay, it's okay. We're good, we're good. Get on the, get on the thrusters. Get on the thrusters. Get on them. Don't just walk, oh my God. I just wanted to die. I just wanted dead. Instead, we're gonna die. No, no. All I need is a couple good hits on him. Die, die, die. I'm shooting you in the head. Oh no, come on. No, 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 no. Get, 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 no! get! Oh! 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 oh my god, that ladder. <laughs> the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> It sucks because... <sighs> All right, we're fast-forwarding this, through this, playing the Benny, uh, Benny Hill theme. Uh, we can't legally do that, but we can fast-forward. Oh. See, I'm doing it slow so we don't get hit on YouTube for it. No, no, now you're, we're going to get hit on YouTube for it. If Okay, if we get hit on YouTube for the vocalization of it, I will be proud of my singing capabilities. <laughs> Oops. Well, I guess they didn't. What matter. are you doing? Okay, this thing up here, this has got to go. It's going to get... I don't know, man. I've had a good time with it so far. Really? Oh, well, okay. Let's let's turn it into another laser ball. Let's do that. I'm Actually, okay that. I would rather get rid of this and turn this into a laser ball. All right, sure, whatever. I feel like this doesn't do much damage. So we're going to turn that into one of these down here? Because you're... Oh, you're putting a wrench La on it. Laser flail. Whatever. Yeah, go do that. Do that, do that. <laughs> You sound so defeated. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. Boink, 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 boink. Okay, wait. What if I just do this? What will happen? I'm not sure. Boom! Okay, Two metal so ones. It, it removes. Actually, I kind of <laughs> like that. Woo hoo 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 hoo! Wee I'm gonna hit them both! <laughs> <laughs> I hope you know I'm going to stop fast-forwarding just for this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> With the power of love! Flails all the way. I kind of want flails on the bottom, too. <laughs> just, that would be pretty awesome. At this point, I... Just fuck it. Fuck it. Just flails for days. Flails for days. Did I tell you that... FFD. <laughs> God damn it. Did I tell you that in the other systems, um, the uh, the other, like, we don't rescue bunnies, we actually rescue other animals? Oh, they're like frogs? I yeah, really wanted to rescue They're little frogs. froggies. And in the third system, they're little foxes. It's pretty fucking adorable. Oh, that's so awesome. That makes me want to play the game. I don't even care about what's actually happening. I see Boom. your grabby hand. Boom! 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 How's it feel to have something in your face the whole time? Ah, 
Gonna get that and that and, and that and then lasers. <laughs> lasers! I am a medieval knight. Take it. All right. A medieval knight? Medieval knight. <laughs> we gotta get away from these. Oh boy! We gotta get away from these. Now nah, we'll just bounce them back at him. That's that's not gonna work. We tried that. We're just gonna run in all of them. We're just gonna run in all of them. I'm doing what I can, man. Lasers. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, no, get off the thrusters. Get on these. Boom. All right. <laughs> Get on the frickin' ladder. <laughs> every time you I say that, every time you say that, I'm I'm worried you're yelling at me like, get on the fucking shield. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, buddy, I'm doing what I can. <laughs> you could have just asked. <laughs> oh man. Such drama. Yeah! Oh! Everything's fine. Your face, your face, your face. I'm shooting it. That's right. Yeah, boy. Uh. Mm. Time to get out of here. No, no. On the on it. Just get just for once. Just for once. Do it for me. Do it for daddy. Whoa. I know. I made this really awkward. <laughs> Shit gets awkward as soon as anyone says daddy. <laughs> Doesn't matter yeah. the context. Unless you're actually like talking to a child. Then it's okay. It's the only context where it's not awkward. <laughs> that was actually well done. I know. <laughs> it's like you're good at playing games sometimes. 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 Basically, this game and Bushido Blade. <laughs> well, but know, only man. when I'm facing Kujo. I don't. I don't know what happened there. I'll be totally frank. Ah, don't be frank. Be my lover. Lover. Hey, Gaga. Whoa. Uh. Did you see in episode one? I don't know if you watch any of our episodes. Sometimes. But uh, episode one of this, I threw in a clip of, a very, very short clip of the song you you were talking oh, about. Oh, man. Oh, man. We were doing so well. Now we're going to die. Well, we could still take mm, two, maybe three hits, depending on what hits us. Do you remember that song where you're like, lovers in a dangerous space? Yeah, and you had no idea what song. Oh, no, you were doing one, and I was doing a different song. Oh, it turns out um, I was wrong about the lyrics of the song. What was the song that I was singing? Uh, shit. I can't remember. It was like... Oh, the power of love. I was like... With the power of love, with the power of love. So but actually, yeah. the song goes, um, "That's the power of love." <laughs> do, 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 do. So the whole time, you literally, when I was joking about you making up a song, you were. No, you... I was. I was right, except for a little bit. Oh! oh! What? How's it feel, stupid constellation? That's right. <laughs> you go back into your traditional form. Oh. Don't Celestial mind our throbbing beings. ship. Celestial beings, am I right? <laughs> so much attitude from them. Dang. Gear. Gear. There you go. Gear. Yay! We did it! So you get new ships, but, f like, uh, do we have a new ship now because of that? Or do you get it from, from saving bunnies and stuff? Yeah, we get them from saving bunnies and, and, and stuffs. So we don't bunnies get to see any new ships. Um, but... We got Arter we Reactor got pieces. We got a new friend! A awesome. new lover! Oh, my favorite. Except for the froggy. I, I, I think the frog would be my favorite because oh, when I was dude. watching the intro and I saw the frogs, I was like, oh my god, I want that guy. Although, I hope we can unlock that bunny with the glasses. I he want to fight whatever the hell that is. <laughs> it looks kind of like a dick, but also it looks like intestines. That's like a large the intestines. intestines is actually what's coming to mind. I'm like, it's just going to swallow me and then it's going to be terrible and I don't want to deal with that. I mean, so, and that's actually why <laughs> this is the last episode. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess, do you have any final thoughts on uh, Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time? To be perfectly honest, um, I really, I actually really want to 
just finish this game because it's it's a blast to play and uh when i'm trying not to entertain people online would be the best time to play it because it does require a lot of brain power um yeah because it's... teamwork is absolutely necessary and it's really hard to actually not tell like yell at you and tell you to get on the shield <laughs> Yeah, um, and I, I totally agree. Like, I've been playing this game with Jen uh, outside of recording, and uh, we've been having a blast. So I, I'll definitely be playing through the rest of this, too. But, I mean, if I think if people still want to watch us play through the rest, I mean, I'm up for it. I don't know if you are, but I want people to request us to play through the rest. Yeah, find out what happens. <laughs> um, Design-wise, do you have any final thoughts, though? Um, I think the biggest thing that get, is you said that they have a way of keeping it fresh and, and constantly new and I'm very interested to see how that actually works because so far I mean it's, it's basically move around, stop, shoot things, move the shield around continue to move and that's basically the process of which things work most of the time mm -hmm. and I've seen a few different things like the stage where we stayed in place was pretty cool, things like that Yeah, I think the, the enemies don't offer a lot of differences in the challenges like there are the occasional few that really switch things up um but i think it's the level design that really makes it shine um so there's like the basic level right the ones that you know you're thinking of when you play this game um but each of the systems each have their own levels that are like really really different and unique in their own way and i think those are the levels that really make this game shine but they wouldn't work unless we had that like base level oh, yeah concept. yeah you can't just be unique all the time exactly otherwise then that's you don't have really a solid game yeah that's why i do really like the level design and the content <clears throat> design of this game i think it's paced really well with that in mind like there's there's five levels per system um if there were more then it would feel really redundant yeah i was just gonna comment on that color scheme too i just i this is such a pretty game oh it's beautiful Everything about the art style in this game was very well thought out. Like, look at the little bunny in the bottom right corner. Look at him go. <laughs> look at him go. He's typing. That's adorable. <laughs> By slamming his paws into the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really just hitting the backspace key because I've already messed up so much because I have no motor control. So I'm just going to hit this key over and over again. <laughs> oh, that little guy. I like him. Duh. Cool. Well, uh, that's... Uh, yeah. I think that's all we got. You guys should play this game. It's a blast. But have a friend. It kind of... It's not really fun to play by yourself. It's fun. It's just not as satisfying. I mean, okay, yeah. It's it's not what it's meant to be. Yes. Yes. That's exactly how I would think of it, too. And uh, I don't want to... I particularly don't like partaking, partaking in games if I'm playing the hacked... Ver not a hacked version, but... A if you're not getting the full experience. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It'd be like playing Doke Bomb by yourself. Oh, man. Yeah, I've done that. It sucks. Which, by the way, I think this is in our eventual future. We should play I'll that again. I'll bring it back. Of all, not to, like, go on a total tangent before we end the episode, but that is, like... Our current playthrough of Dokapon that we didn't finish is our most watched playlist on YouTube right now. That's pretty crazy. Um, and I still get people that just watch every single minute of those episodes. So if people want to watch us play through Dokapon, um, I would be sooner, glad to wreck you again. I think this time too we can even pull on Tony and. Uh, oh, T Tony's a must. Tony and, and maybe Cujo. <laughs> Um, I don't know if Jen would be interested. I don't think Kujo can handle it. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> well, at least Tony, um, which if you, I don't know if we talked about Tony in this playthrough, but he's uh, one of our new archivists in Affinity Archives. He's starting another show. So stay tuned for that too. Yeah. All cool. right. We should go. This is long. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the archives. Bye. <laughs>